Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. Today is a Monday. I just got ready. I sent a few emails that I needed to and uh, I organized a few things around the house and now I'm ready and I selected my outfit. I'm going to show you and uh, I'm going to Bristol today. I'm going to do a little bit of shopping. Um, just check out the stores. I haven't been like in actual physical stores in a while and uh, because I've been on holiday, I know. But um, yeah, I want to see uh, everything that the stores have now for autumn. I'm really excited for autumn. It's my favorite season. And uh, sorry I'm a bit breathless because I've been just up the stairs um, playing with Nikita. I always play with Nikita when I'm ready. When I'm getting ready, I throw this little mouse thing she has uh, down the stairs and then up the stairs and then I go after her and that's why I'm breathless. Um, and yeah, that's the plan of action. I'm going to Bristol and um, check out the stores and I'm going to take you with me. I'm going to show you now my outfit and then I'm going to rush out of the door because it's almost already 11 and I usually like to go early uh, so that the stores are not too full but yeah, today is not going according to plan. So I'm going to show you my outfit now. Okay everyone, this is the look of the day. I'm wearing my Zara lace uh, crop top with the vest underneath. The vest is by Calzedonia and uh, it's just a black vest and it's really comfy. Um, and I'm also wearing my frame denim uh, jeans. They're a bit cropped, I don't know if you can see. But yeah, this is the look. I'm also wearing my sequin uh, ankle boots by Zara. They are super, super cute. And I don't know if you guys can see from there, but uh, I really love the look. Uh, for bag, I'm wearing my Chanel bag. My vintage bag, you guys have seen it as well. And I'm also going to take my trench coat uh, because I don't know how the weather is. It's around 16 degrees, so it's not too hot. But I didn't really feel like wearing a jacket. I don't know if you guys know what I mean. It's just not too cold, I think, to wear uh, like a coat or like a warm jacket. So I just wanted to go with... Um, with the trench because it's not raining but it's it's I think it's cold because it looks cold outside the window to be honest with you I haven't gone out yet so I don't know but yeah this is the look I'm also taking a pair of sunnies but I'm not sure I'm gonna wear them because it's not sunny at the moment so yeah guys now I'm gonna hop in the car and I'll see you in Bristol Hello guys, welcome back to the vlog. Once again, today is Thursday, it's raining outside and the weather is miserable. Here in the UK there is a thunderstorm um, going across the country called Kiram and uh, everyone was told, uh, people were told to stay at home, not go out because it's supposed to be really bad. So a massive rain and wind and it's not, apparently it's not very safe to go out. But I have to. I have a doctor's appointment this morning at 10 o'clock. It's now seven minutes past nine. And unfortunately, I have to go out uh, in this weather. At the moment, it's raining just a little bit of a drizzle. It's not too bad, but yeah, I need, I need to go out. But um, it will be okay. Um, I need to do a smear test, which is not the most pleasant um, a doctor appointments you may you may have, as you guys know. And uh, I don't think I, I, I don't enjoy it. I don't think anyone <laughs> enjoys it. 
but we have to do it. It's 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 really important to do smear tests every year. So there you go. I have to do mine today, and um, yeah, I'm going out in about less than an hour. So I got myself ready, had a shower, did my makeup. I know this is a really over-the-top makeup for a doctor's appointment. However, uh, my plan was to come back home and film for you guys. So that's why I did this makeup. And uh, yeah, I'm wearing a full face. My lipstick combo is my new uh, Kiko that I got um, in Dubai. Uh, the shade is number 433. Um, the shade is Smart, this one right here that I've shown you. It's like a toffee, I would call this a toffee dark beige color, really pretty. And then my lip liner is the Maybelline Lasting Finish in shade Cappuccino. This one right here. And I also topped it up with my new gloss by Chanel, uh, the one I've shown you also in my Dubai vlog, uh, the last one. And it's this one right here, just applied it in the center of the lips, just to give it a little bit of a pop, a shine. And uh, yeah, the makeup uh, I'm wearing, uh, the eyeshadow I'm wearing, is by Charlotte Tilbury. It's a little quad, I'll leave it linked down below if I remember, hopefully I will. And yeah, I'm wearing this. Uh, this Cardi is by H&M. It's not from recent season, but it's it's really cute. It's just a black cardi with uh, some rhinestones. And then underneath, I'm wearing a vest silk top by Calcedonia. It's just like a basic layer, but I don't really mind it picking um, here a little bit. It looks it looks nice. And then on the bottom part, I'm wearing jeans by Zara and my Gucci belt, and this is the look. I'm also wearing my possibly because it's raining my trench coat, which is just there. You guys can see it. And the bag of the day, to be honest, I haven't decided. The fr fragrance for today is going to be the Ben Halligan's, ben Halligan's uh, Babylon, this one right here. This is a very deep octomnal, octomnal fragrance. And I love it so much. Every time I wear this, someone asks me, what am I wearing? So yeah, it's really lovely. I'm going to show you the look. Uh, for shoes, I'm going to wear my... Sam Edelman, this one's right here, um, ballet flats with spikes and uh, this is the look, hopefully you guys can see and uh, this is it, then uh, I know it's raining and I'm wearing ballet flats but I put the boots on and I didn't really feel like wearing boots today, I don't know and then I'm wearing my beautiful trench coat that actually needs to be um, dry cleaned but I haven't done it yet, so um, I'm going to show you the whole thing. So this is going to be the trench. I have other trenches, but I don't know. I always go back to this one, I don't know why. And uh, I think I'm going to wear it like this. And I feel like I'm a bit exposed in this area, so maybe I'll close it. Maybe not. Maybe I'll just add the scarf or something like that. For the bag, I'm wearing my new beautiful Dolce Gabbana, uh, a little bag. This one um, I got at Mr. Village very recently, you guys have seen it. Probably gonna wear it like so, just crossbody. I love how the animal prints clash. I know this is a lot for the doctors, but guys, this is a simple outfit for me. I know it might sound crazy, but it's a simple outfit. And to be fair with you, uh, if you do this, it's not that bad. It's not that over the top. Or is it? Maybe it is. I don't care. So this will be the look. I don't know if you guys can see the whole thing, but yeah. This will be the look for the doctors. And uh, the idea is to go there, do the appointment, which is at 10 o'clock, like I said. And then come back and film a little bit more for you guys. So uh, I wanted to show you a few things today. I have a few bits of new in. I have, uh, let me see, I have it here uh, next to me. I have three pieces of uh, clothing pieces and also have two vintage items that I got very recently and I wanted to show you that. Uh, one of them I'm keeping but the other one I'm not keeping because a long story but uh, I think I will tell you about it when I come back from the doctors and I'll show you everything and yeah that's the plan of, the day, of today now I think I'm gonna have some breakfast 
sort out the scarf situation, maybe something. And maybe, I don't know if the shoes, if I'm not going to change the shoes for boots, because if it's raining, I'm, I'm going to have wet feet. And I uh, don't want that. So, uh, yeah, I'll speak to you soon. Hi guys, I just came back from the doctors and uh, yeah, I've done my smear test and it's done. Uh, to be honest, it was okay. It wasn't that bad. I I was dreading it a lot because I hate doing these tests, honestly. Um, I don't know. It's just, I don't think anyone likes it, like I said before, but I really, really don't enjoy it at all. So yeah, I'm back home now. I, I just ate a banana because I was starving. It's now 10.55, so I waited a while for them to call me in, almost half an hour to be honest. And then um, the doctor is actually really, really close to us, so to our home, so it was really quick. Drove home and now I ate a banana and I've done a little coffee for myself, an espresso. I love espresso, I'm, I'm originally from Portugal, so we do like a small, strong coffee and... Um, that's what I'm gonna have now. Um, these cups are really cute, and uh, and the dish as well. These are from our uh, Nespresso machine, an old Nespresso machine that doesn't work anymore, but we still use them. So um, yeah, I'm gonna have my coffee now. And I took out my uh, my lipstick because I think I'm gonna I'm gonna change my lipstick. I'm gonna change my outfit as well. I think I selected a nice, a beautiful outfit, very Clara. Um, to film the rest of the video with you guys now because I think I want to film a reel and a TikTok uh, with that outfit so I thought why not put it on and film the rest of the video with you guys with a beautiful outfit why not so I'm gonna change my lipstick as well to go with that outfit and then I will come back and show you uh, the new items I have in my closet like I said earlier it's uh, three uh, new items it's three or four uh, I'm not sure now uh, because one is in another room and um, I have a little bit of vintage to show you as well very exciting I haven't bought vintage in a while now but um, I got a few bits and I also want to show you as you guys have seen from the title of the video I want to show you something I got that was actually a fail and this is the first here in my channel I don't usually show you how when things go wrong because Usually I'm very lucky, lucky when I buy clothes and shoes and all of that online. And uh, this one didn't, didn't go according to plan. So I really, really wanted to share with you because I learned a lot. Uh, things that I had no idea about. Um, and uh, I thought it's, it's really interesting to share with you. I know it, this doesn't make any sense without me showing you the item. But uh, yeah, we'll do that in a moment. Now I'm going to have my coffee. And uh, I'll change, I'll show you the new outfit and then I'll show you the items that I have here, um, new items that I have in my closet and then we'll talk about the fail. Mm. Really nice coffee by the way. Very, very nice. Okay, I'll change and I'll come back. Okay, that's it guys. I've changed my look now. I'm wearing this uh, Zara uh, blouse with lace and uh, a vest on top and black white leg trousers all from Zara and I really love this look. I'll show you in the cutaway um, that I'm gonna leave here in a moment. And I put on my beautiful uh, Gucci earrings. I love these. These were part of my um, birthday. Um, was it the birthday actually? No, it was part of my wedding anniversary gift that Chung uh, got me uh, when we were in Marbella. If you haven't seen the vlog, I'll leave it linked above. But yeah, he got me these and he also got me my new mini Lady Dior that I love so much. And yeah, I'm gonna wear these and I'm also gonna wear my beautiful gold ring that I got in Dubai. I got this one very recently for my birthday. And again, if you guys haven't seen the vlog where I uh, shown you all of this, I'll leave it linked above for you. 
this ring is so beautiful and uh, one of my favorites in my collection at the moment and then I put on this um, citrine ring that I have for a very long time and my black diamond ring uh, that Sean got me and my wedding ring and wedding band and these are the jewelry for the day uh, no bracelet no watch nothing and uh, I changed my lipstick I'm now wearing this Gucci uh, lipstick in this red shade I will leave it uh, linked down below if I can remember to and then the lip liner is also Gucci this one right here in uh, I think this is ruby red but don't quote me and then I added a little bit of my Chanel gloss in this gold shade just in the center to give a little bit of a juice to the lips and uh, hopefully my teeth are not stained and uh, yeah this is the look I'm actually going to show you I know I've done a cutaway, but I just wanted to show you. I'm also wearing my Gucci belt. And uh, this is the look. I have no shoes on, but I will pop in some uh, boots for the reel. And um, I don't know if you can see, but there's a few bags over there. And uh, those I'll show you another time. So those are part of another video. And it's actually really, really, really exciting. And I can't wait to show you, to be honest. And um, okay, now we'll start with the items I have to show you today. So uh, two of these items I got in flannels and this was a while ago, like I would say two weeks ago. And the first one is actually this beautiful red shirt uh, that I got at flannels. Um, it has this beautiful print. I don't really know what print is this. It's not animal print. I think it's just like a um, geometric uh, print but it's really pretty i love the details the ruffles so feminine and beautiful and i love the color also with some ruffles and uh, it comes with these two little straps that you can uh, tie in a bow and uh, the brand is uh, m i'm not sure if this is e and m uh, or m just like it's written here but you guys can see it i will uh, try and find it if it's still available and link it uh, down below for you guys but i'm not sure if it is because this was bought in the sale of flannels so i'm not really sure it's still available but it's so pretty though you also have the the ruffle right here so so gorgeous and it's completely see-through um but i can definitely wear this with a little vest underneath um or a black bra or like I'm wearing this one right here. This one by Zara is also see-through and I, I wear, I'm wearing it with the, with the waistcoat. Or with just a blazer on top will look really pretty and then you don't open the, the blazer. But I really like this sort of thing. Uh, she's not very long, she's a bit cropped, but I really loved it and the discount was amazing, guys. So again, it's from this brand right here that I don't really know and I got it at Flannels. Uh, the size is the 38, which is the 12. And the price uh, was originally £90 and, um, oh, I think it's easier, like here. Um, it was originally £90, but I got this, I think, for 24 So, super, super discounted. I don't really know what material this is, but she's gorgeous. I love it. And I need a little bit of a pop of colour in my wardrobe, because as you can see, I love black so much that sometimes, yeah. And one of the colors that are my, actually my favorites is red. I really love red. It's one of those colors that I, I really like. And I think it matches really well with black. Uh, as you can see in this print, uh, red and black together. And yeah, this was one of the things I got. Super, super, super discounted. And uh, I was so impressed with flannels, to be honest. It's just one of those places where you can find very expensive items, but other times you can find really good uh, gems in the sale. So just check out the outlet and the sale area um, when they do uh, like good sales. And uh, you'll find items like this that were originally £90 and now discounted to 20 Sorry, I'm just checking my lipstick. 20 something. So really, really, really good deal. I think this was like 70% off or something like that. And uh, they had all the sizes still available. So hopefully I can leave it linked down below for you guys and you guys can check it out. But I think she's gorgeous. Do let me know what you think. I don't know if you guys like this sort of thing. If it's a little bit like... I think some people would say, oh, it's a little bit like... Um, 
not in style these days because it's like a long sleeve blouse with the ruffles but I mean she's completely see-through so it's not that old style to be honest and uh, if you pair this with a pair of leather uh, trousers this would look really gorgeous so it all, always depends on how you style the items in my opinion but yeah I really love this one and then also on flannels I got another item I don't have to bag anymore so I put I put the items in in another bag so uh, the next one is actually a skirt and it's this one right here a very sparkly skirt it's a mini skirt and then it's full of this beautiful sequence I don't know if the camera is catching it very well but it's like blue with a little uh, shine purple shine to it so gorgeous she is um, mini, like I said, and then on the bottom part you have a beautiful lace, which I don't know if I'm showing you very well, maybe like this. So it has lace in the bottom part, and she also has this tie-up detail here in the front, which is super sexy and pretty, and she's just gorgeous, guys, gorgeous. The waist is elastic, so you can order your um, normal size, but then if you eat eaten a little bit more, uh, it's fine because it's just elastic. Or if you have endometriosis, endometriosis problems like I do, or a bloated belly or anything like that, this is amazing. Elasticated waist is the best. But I don't know, I saw it on the website and I found it so gorgeous. And I know that some of you will say, oh, but that's just for New Year's, that's just for the holidays for a party but definitely not I can wear this uh, okay maybe for going out maybe not for a day-to-day -day <laughs> uh, item but for going out with a black blazer black leggings or just like some um, black um, tights like uh, opaque tights because I don't know if you can see but it's it's actually see-through and it doesn't have a lining which is something that I didn't see when I was buying it and I was a bit Okay, that's not the best, to be honest, but um, I find it so beautiful that I didn't send it back. So I really, really liked it, even though it doesn't have a lining and I will always need to wear black tights or leggings with it. Um, yeah, I found it beautiful. So the brand is, let me just see, I think this was, uh, it's called Intimately, Intimately, but I think it's from Free People. And uh, I ordered a size 12 and it was originally 78 pounds. Don't know if the camera is fo focusing on me or on this. 78 pounds, but I bought this for like, I would say 16. Really, really, really cheap, guys. And uh, again, I know this is not for everyone and it's sequins and all of that, but I love it so much. And uh, I'll do a little cutaway and I'll put it on for you guys to see how she looks like, but she's just gorgeous. And um, yeah, I'm going to try and style it the way I would wear it so that you guys can see how she looks like. But I really, really like it. And yeah, this was the second item I got. This was a little bit of a random, random haul, to be honest with you. But I really, I like to show you these things because it's things that excite me when I first get them. And, uh, you know, and then the last item, well, not the last, but the third item is something I got on M&S. So... For those of you who are not from the UK, M&S is Marks and & Spencers and I got something from uh, Marks & Spencers. So I went into the cashmere area and I got a black uh, roll neck uh, cashmere sweater and uh, guys I've already worn this because she is amazing. So it's a black roll neck as you can see. Um, the fabric is 100% cashmere, really, really soft and fluffy, long sleeve with a roll neck and um, I um, wanted an oversized feel to this because I want to wear a little vest in, in, um, beneath it or like something, an extra layer and uh, I got it in size, let me see. I think this is 14 so I usually I'm usually a 12 and I ordered at a 14 and I'm not sorry I did because she's very loose uh, hangs really well from my body and so comfortable so fluffy I love the the knit I mean it's cashmere I, it's first item actually I got um, a cashmere item oh my I can't speak today it's the first cashmere item I've ever gotten um, 
f to wear. So I have a very old, also from Marks and Spencer, um, a very old scarf. It's a, actually a pink scarf and it's 100% cashmere as well. But that was the only thing I had before this. And this is actually the first sweater 100% uh, cashmere that I've ever gotten and it's Marks and Spencer. I've heard amazing things from Marks and Spencer cashmere and uh, when I saw it I really really liked the, um, the material. I, I, you know, it's very soft and it doesn't itch against your skin and I've already worn it and I loved it. I felt chic, I felt um, stylish and I felt really really cozy and warm and that's saying something. And the price was 95.10, so 95 pounds, 10 pence. And um, they had this style like this with the roll neck, which I think it's so chic for winter. But they also had the crew neck and they also had other colors. So they had uh, this um, beige, they had oatmeal color, they had blue, pink. And they also had other styles like a cardi. And uh, I think they also had uh, stripes and some others, but this one was the one I really liked and uh, I might go back for a crew neck, guys, a crew neck. And possibly I'll go back for uh, the same shade. So again, the black, because obviously, you know, I like my black and um, yeah, I might go back. I know it's expensive, 98 pounds, 95 pounds, but to be honest, I looked in other places in the, in the high street and uh, like in other stories, I looked into, where was it, uh, Reese, I went to Kos and uh, another stories was really expensive, it was 130 if I'm not mistaken, any uh, thickness. So this one I got, the thickness is quite, it's not the most thick, let's, let's just say it like that, it's not the most thick, but it's thick enough, I would say. It's more like this type of sweater, it's more like... Um, something you wear underneath a coat, uh, not like the outer layer, I would say. And I don't mind that. I think it's it's fine. I actually like that it's like something that you wear underneath just to keep you warm uh, because I don't really wear like thick jumpers as an outer layer. So I really like that one. So in other stories, it was 130 in Zara. I checked Zara also over 100 pounds uh, in cost the 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 cashmere was amazing and I've heard from many people that it's the best cashmere ever and that one was 160 I think the medium thickness and then the more thick one like really really thick and luxurious was like over 200 I think it was 225 guys so extremely expensive I mean I think it's worth it uh, if that sweater is gonna last you forever and if you like that thick sort of jumper style but it's not really for me but uh, yeah everything else I saw Reese as well uh, they were all more expensive than Marks and Spencer and I even heard that you can wash Marks and Spencer cashmere although you shouldn't wash cashmere you know that often but yeah I heard from many people that have uh, Marks and Spencer cashmere that you can actually uh, wash it so I'm really really excited with this one right here I already wore it in uh, a weekend uh, we had away which is going to be my next video and uh, I love that I love that I wore jewelry outside of the roll neck and I really felt stylish guys I really really loved that and uh, yeah these were the three items I wanted to show you today new brand new items that I got and now I have two items of vintage uh, that I wanted to share with you and uh, the first one is a success story and then the second one is a fail so I think we'll start with the first one, uh, which is a success story. And I have the item just here next to me. And uh, before I show you, um, I got these two items in the online store. And it's a London online store called CSD. I'll leave it linked, uh, linked no, written here uh, for you guys to see. And uh, yeah, I bought them uh, these two items on CSD. It's an online store, vintage store, and uh, I've bought stuff from there before. And I also had a good, exp I always had a good experience. And um, they usually have a very good uh, 
you know, detail of the items, because obviously if these are vintage or pre-owned, you need to see all the little defects the item might have, all of that. And uh, yeah, I've bought from there before, but... Um, sorry, pardon me. But the, the most experience we had with the with this store, with CST, it was actually João, uh, my husband. He got me a few presents from there. Uh, I think, was it last Christmas? I think it was last Christmas. He got me a few pairs of shoes that I'm actually trying to see now uh, from CSD and I loved them all. And uh, they were in excellent condition, all of that. So I felt safe uh, when I bought these two items. So I bought these two items, they were on sale. And the first one I want to show you is actually Chanel. And uh, to tell you that I'm excited about, about this item, it's not enough. I'm so over the moon with this, with this item, with this item. And uh, it's a pair of shoes and here they are, guys. So this is a high heel patent leather Chanel pump with loads of little straps in the front. These are gorgeous. And I remember, I don't remember the the year this came out but i remember seeing them in the runway and uh, everywhere in instagram etc because they are so gorgeous and they are so my style that i was like wow and these ones are in excellent condition excellent condition so here they are i'm going to show you they have this beautiful high heel in excellent condition as you can see and then they have this stunning detail here which is like the Chanel uh, texture of the bags, is, if you can see. So it's like that uh, um, texture you find in the beautiful Chanel bags, classic Chanel bags. And I saw this and I was so in love because it's so different. So it's like, it's not a platform uh, at all. It's just like a pump with this little detail and I love that. And then the front is a round toe, very feminine, so pretty. And then you have all of these little uh, straps. And then when you put your foot in there, it looks so pretty. I can't really show you right now because obviously I'm not wearing them. But it's so, so pretty. And this is the other side. As you can see, in excellent condition. These were described as being in excellent condition. Um, these are bottoms. Uh, as you can see, they were worn, but not massively. And it's my size, a size 5, and I love, 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 love them. They are super comfy. They are not too high, although they are a high heel. And uh, the price was £160. So the name is a black patent cross strap quilt uh, pump from Chanel, guys. And uh, I don't know if you can see very well, but there is the name Chanel is actually more or less visible in there. I don't know if you can see, but it's actually um, visible still. And I'll show you the other one. The other one is still has this little tag here, uh, which is the do not remove tag in case you want to return them. And uh, again, they are in very good condition. I think there is a tiny mark somewhere around here. I don't know if on this one or... No, it's on this one. So they have this tiny mark uh, just there. But it's not visible at all. And uh, here they are, guys. So pretty. 160 pounds. A pair of original Chanel um, shoes. Uh, these are like, I don't know, pumps or little ankle boots. What would you call this? Maybe a pump. I would call this a pump. They are so pretty and uh, I really, really, really love them. And I can't wait to wear them, honestly. They are so original as well. And um, yeah, here they are. I was so happy when I saw them. This was the first thing I took out of the box. So the box had two items and this was the first thing I took out and I was so pleased. I love the little straps. It's so beautiful. Do let me know what you think, but this is totally me, totally my vibe and I love them so much. I think they are gorgeous. Honestly, just, just gorgeous. And yeah, this was the success story I got um, on this on this purchase, uh, 160 pounds. I don't know how much these were uh, originally, to be honest, but I mean, they are Chanel. And um, I had the details, honestly, but I don't remember because uh, I saw what year they were from and all of that, but I don't really remember. I'm trying to see if I have it here. Um, 
I don't think I do to be honest I think it was on the on the computer I have the page still opened and um, let me see mm. and uh, now I'll tell you about the <laughs> the fail so as you guys seen in the title of this of this uh, video um, I had a fail um, when I bought uh, these two items in in CSD. Anyway, I have the email here and I'll grab the item which is in the other room and I'll show you. Okay guys, I went to grab the other item that I had in another room and um, the second item I ordered in uh, CSD was actually a Louis Vuitton bag and this is a vintage Louis Vuitton bag from 1999 and when I saw it uh, it was actually in the new in section I immediately added to the to the cart guys and it's this beautiful um, tote by Louis Vuitton in monogram canvas vintage one and as you can see the handles are this beautiful um, patina colored uh, brown it gets this brown it's originally whitish beige a milky color and then it gets this patina brown and it's a rectangular tote um, these are the sides and this is the other side bottom and uh, yeah I saw this and I immediately added because I love a tote like this um, they have a similar one in the website right now but it costs 1000 something and this one was 160 so the same price as the shoes and I immediately I immediately got it. I saw the, the all of the details because they had many pictures of this item and I saw all of the details. As you can see, I'm gonna show you closer. The handles are quite are quite battered, they are dark, they have a few cracks on them. I don't know if you can see very well, but I will try to show you uh, close enough. So over here you can see lots of scratches and um, it's it has lots of wear as you guys can see and I don't know if you can if the camera is showing very well but there is some marks in the leather um, especially here in the bottom part I don't know if you if you can see that there there's lots of white marks on it and to be fair my speedy Louis Vuitton has white marks so this didn't put me off at all and um, there's also something here on the side this marks right here I don't know if you can see very well but there's a white mark right there all of that and you know I saw all of that and uh, it's not like I didn't see it I saw it and I decided to get it anyway because I love the shape of this I think it's beautiful this is called the Louis Vuitton sac plat tote and it's from 1999 and I love 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 it and to be honest with you I saw the handles were in this situation in this condition I saw the leather the corners are not in great condition either I'm gonna show you hopefully I can hopefully I can show you as you can see all the corners are like this and then the interior is also very um, in not a very good shape here we go there's lots of stains in it and um, yeah, it's, it's not in very good condition. But still, I decided to get this because I thought I don't mind a bag that looks a little bit vintage. I like the style of a vintage bag. I don't care about that at all. I even like the color of the handles, although these ones, to be fair, they are a bit too buttered. Hopefully I can I can show you. They are a bit too buttered, but uh, you can always wrap it really around them and it would be fine. And um, yeah, I didn't mind that at all. So I saw those pictures. There was uh, at least 10 pictures of the details, all of the little defects. And they even had like little arrows pointing to the defects. So, so to be fair, it was it was okay. It was okay described. The condition they said this bag was in was good. It wasn't excellent condition like the shoes were, it was in good condition, so I already knew that it wasn't going to be a very perfect uh, condition for this, for this bag, so I ordered it and I got it guys. Here it is, it still has the tag, so it comes with this little um, ring of paper that you can't take out, otherwise they won't uh, take it back, and it also came with this little... Um, with this little uh, tag and it says the name vintage brown sac plateau Louis Vuitton 
165 pounds and this is what I paid for it and then when I received it first of all guys I received it at home and uh, I didn't really like how it was conduct conducted the receiving the bag so this is an expensive item and I bought it with the shoes so two items of 160 so it's not like it's no money and um, they said in the email when I bought it that uh, it needed a signature on arrival so okay uh, it took over a week to arrive which was okay fine I know these things take their time and then they delivered it to my neighbor and it wasn't we weren't home so they knocked nobody was in and they delivered to my neighbor but it wasn't my next door neighbor it was like two houses after that and I was really upset, to be honest with you. Um, they left an email with a picture of the house, of the door, but you could only see the door. There was no door number. Uh, there wasn't any like map with the location of the, of the delivery, nothing like that, and I was really upset. So I had literally to go in my street and knock in every single door and ask, do you have a, a package for me, for Clara? And that was really upsetting, honestly. I imagine that's it, I'm not gonna see my items, someone is gonna take them. Uh, not that I don't trust my neighbors, but who knows where the where the postman left the bag and I was really upset, honestly. I had no paper in my house saying we left it in this door, in this house, nothing. So I was really lucky and I found a neighbor who received my package and um, the package outside you wouldn't you wouldn't know it was it was something like this designer items so uh, the person received it and when I knocked uh, they they gave it to me and that was it but you know it wasn't it wasn't a nice thing and then I opened the packaging and the packaging was a brown you know box and there wasn't these items both this and the Chanel shoes weren't properly wrapped I was really uh, you know not upset but I was disappointed with how they would you know I'm buying designer and they just throw things in a box and they don't even wrap it with paper or condition it in any way so they had the bag lying down and then the shoes on top. Honestly, you don't do that. So I was really disappointed with that bit. And then when I saw the bag, I inspected, obviously, and I noticed something, which I'm going to show you now. I don't know if you already probably already seen it, but um, there is... Uh, where is it? Uh, it's here. There is a massive break in this one right here. So as you can see, the leather is completely broken almost to the end. So this means I won't be able to wear this bag with anything inside because if I do, the weight uh, inside the bag will break this little leather part here. So as you can see, it's almost completely broken. And when I saw this, guys, I was so disappointed because on all of the pictures they had on the website, you couldn't see that, which now I think it was intentional, but there is one picture where the, you see there's a little break, but um, you can't really see, it's, it's completely ripped, like I'm showing you now. This is completely ripped, as you can see, and you couldn't see that, and I was like, wow. Wow, okay, I know it's 165 pounds, so this was really cheap for a Louis Vuitton bag, but still, you expect that this massive defect to be really uh, noticeable in the pictures and that just like described, the bag has this defect, which is a really important one because obviously, if I'm gonna put something inside, this might break and then that's it and I can't, I can't really uh, fix it. As you can see guys, this is, there is no fix to this, so um, I would have to change the handles, all of this hardware, this part, this part, everything. And uh, because you can't really stitch this, it's a very thick um, leather, you can't really glue it, because if I'm gluing it uh, with the weight of the bag it might open again, and I was so disappointed, honestly. It was just one of those things. I, I was expecting the bag to be battered, to be vintage, to have been loved and all of that, which I love. But then a massive defect like that, I was really unimpressed. But then, 
I thought, why not? This was so inexpensive. I thought, why not send it to Louis Vuitton and have it repaired? Which is why I'm actually talking about this. Because obviously, when you buy vintage stuff, sometimes they are good, other times they are not so good, and you just send it back. Which is uh, possibly what I'm going to do with this. But yeah, I decided, okay, why not repair the bag and replace the, the handles? Uh, have the leather cleaned and also fix the little corners that as you can see they are uh, all the corners are a little bit uh, broken so yeah I um, went on the website and there is this customer care area with repairs and I've never seen that area before I know that they leave it on repairs bags um, my ever clutch I don't know if you guys can see it because it's it's just there. Well, I'm gonna show you. This is my little ever clutch. I bought it a long time ago and um, this little chain here guys, this one right here, broke a few years ago and um, I had the bag for already like five six years when this happened and uh, I went to Louis Vuitton store in London and they fixed it free of charge and this was a few years ago I would say nine years ago when I fixed it maybe more than that maybe ten years ago something like that and they fixed it I didn't pay anything if the only thing I did pay was um, the postage because they do send the bags to uh, France to Paris to be fixed in Paris by their um, artisans so I paid 20 euros for the bag to be fixed so now I thought okay why not try with this one right here uh, this bag comes with serial number inside so I, uh, it could be identified so that they know uh, which bag it is, all of that, and uh, yeah, I, contact, I contacted Louis Vuitton through the website, through the repair area, and I was expecting the bag to be uh, repaired, and that would be a price, because um, I'm not sure if it, there is a difference between a vintage bag that I bought in a reseller or one that I bought in store, but I think there's a difference. I think that they do lifetime guarantee if you buy it in store but if it's from a reseller it's a different story and you have to pay but don't quote me on this because I'm not 100% sure on the difference I know that on the, that one I didn't pay anything and on this one it was a different story so I sent an email I took some pictures of the bag which is what you have to do and uh, I said I need the handles completely changed so this this part here a completely new handle I want the leather to be clean because there are some white marks and I also want the corners to be fixed so I didn't say anything about the interior which is really battered but I thought I can buy a bag insert and just you know put the insert inside and that will be fine and guys I got the response so I emailed them on I think it was I'm gonna put the bag down I think it was on a Sunday and they immediately responded to me on a Monday and they said okay Clara thank you so much for contacting us can you please upload more pictures and that's what I did I upload all the pictures I could take so all the interiors which I haven't sent before because I didn't really want to fix the interior so I thought they just need the handles and all of that and I got a response so basically they what they do is they receive the pictures um, they read what you want to be fixed and then they show it to um, someone that takes care of these things and they decide okay this is gonna be the budget this is how much you're gonna have to pay and then they tell you and if you agree they can fix it and guys, I have the email here and uh, from Louis Vuitton, and I'm going to tell you how much the, f the repair was. Uh, so it does say, Dear Clara, thank you for submitting your repair request. Having reviewed your photos, we can confirm the following service is available for your sac plat, which is this bag. So change of two handles and all handle shapes, which is the metal, 470 pounds, guys. 470 pounds for the change of the two handles which was the, one of the things that I wanted then change of the inner lining 470 pounds so if I wanted the inside to be changed it would be the same 470 pounds then canvas care service 115 pounds so for the little white marks they would condition the leather and all of that 
And uh, regarding your request for the repair of the four corners, we'd like to inform you that we are not yet uh, able to confirm the repair and its estimated price. Our craftsman in Atelier would need to physically inspect your product first. The approximate uh, lead time for repairs is 12 to 15 weeks. And uh, yeah, so then they say that each item goes through a full assessment and they check if it's a real item, if it's a real if it's a real Louis Vuitton bag and they do check if the bag has any risk of complete damage uh, when they are repairing, all of that. And if everything is okay, they will start repairing and uh, you will pay and that's it. And then 12 to 15 weeks. Guys, I was... I wouldn't say I was in shock, but I was so surprised. I have heard that the repairs on Louis Vuitton had, you know, escalated. The price has escalated, has gone much higher, but I've never imagined it would be 470 pounds only to change the handles. I was so unimpressed. I mean, they can charge whatever they want, fair, you know, fair on them, but it's a lot of money to change a bit of leather. I know they have craftsmen and they have people who are trained to do this and I totally understand that, but it's very expensive in my personal opinion. This is my opinion and don't take it in the wrong way. If you have a different opinion, this is just what I think. 470 just for the handles, 470 for the inner lining, then 115 for the, um, for the marks which they don't guarantee they will remove them and then for the corners I would imagine for 170 as well but they haven't said because they would have to see the, the bag and then 12 to 15 weeks guys I was so shocked I was and I was like okay there is no way I'm gonna pay 470 pounds to change the handles because I paid 165 for the whole bag and if I pay 470, I might as well buy the same bag in a better condition, if that makes sense. So I went online and I actually found the same tote uh, from 2003, so more recent, in, am in amazing condition, almost looked brand new, and it was 720 on Farfetch. So I mean, it's almost the same price as changing the handles and doing all of this plus paying the 165 if that makes sense so it would make more sense to buy a newer bag sac pla than to do this which probably is what they want they don't really want you to to buy a very tattered bag and then repair it for nothing and then just have a Louis Vuitton bag which, okay, I understand a little bit, but it's very expensive. So that's what I wanted to put across. I was very surprised because I've seen videos on YouTube about repairs and people who have paid, um, like three years ago, a hundred pounds, sorry, a hundred dollars to change the handles. And now it's 470. I was so surprised, honestly. And uh, yeah, I just... No way, no way I'm going to spend this money. So my uh, decision was just send it back and ask for a full refund, which is what I'm going to do. Hopefully they will agree because the bag is not in good condition. And actually they already did because this morning I received an email uh, with the return label for the shop for CSD. And uh, yeah, I mean, I'm going to return it. I'm so disappointed that I am going to return it uh, because she's so pretty. I still love it. I don't want to return it when I look at it. She's so gorgeous. And uh, I mean, look at the color of the leather compared with my... It's the same. I mean, it's not too bad. It's the same. And uh, the handles are a bit too worse than my Speedy. Uh, but I could put um, a little twilly on them and that would be fine. I don't even care about the corners, guys. These things happened. Bags are here to be loved. But I mean, the handle, it's not, it's not possible because this is going to break and uh, I wouldn't be able to put anything inside, which is, this is a tote. It's, it's function to carry stuff. And uh, I was so disappointed, guys. So disappointed. It breaks my heart and... I don't think it was my fault because when I saw the pictures online I didn't really see that massive uh, breakage because they didn't show it. 
So I was really disappointed with the store. I was really disappointed when I spoke with Louis Vuitton with the prices. They were lovely. Uh, the way they spoke to me, they are always replying super quick. And um, yeah, I ended up telling Louis Vuitton that I didn't want to repair. And uh, yeah, I'm so sad with this, honestly, because I was so excited to have this vintage Louis Vuitton bag. Super inexpensive and then fix it. And now, actually, I didn't even want to be fixed. I, I wanted it like it is. I don't, I, I have no problem with that. I think it looks beautiful. But the little rip, it's, it's not, it's not doable. And um, yeah, I'm going to return it. I already have the return label and this is it. I'm so disappointed, guys. And I just wanted to tell you because the prices is an important thing to know. We are in 2023 and I just, I wanted you guys to know how much it costs because if you are thinking about doing that or if you have a Speedy or any other Louis Vuitton bag and you want to fix it, it's quite expensive. I'm not sure if there is a difference between an item you bought in store and an item you got in the reseller market, which possibly there is, but I don't, I don't know, to be honest. I don't know. Uh, because when it was my beautiful Eva clutch, they didn't charge me. Um, but I think that was because it was a long time ago and now they are charging for these things. So yeah, guys, this is what I wanted. This is the story time I, I had for you today. I I just wanted to share because I think it's important. I had no idea about these prices. All the videos I saw on YouTube didn't really, you know, say much about the price. Or if they did, it was older videos where they said it's just $100 or something like that. So I think it was really important to tell you exactly uh, how much Louis Vuitton is charging. And uh, yeah, this is it. Um, by the way, if you want to, to repair something and you're not concerned about those prices, go on Louis Vuitton site. There is the repair um, link there and you just have to fill in your details. Say what's the sequence number of the bag, the name of the bag, what's the year of the bag. Uh, take lots of pictures and upload them there and they will reply to you, which is quite easy, straightforward. You can also do it on the app, but I did it on the website. But you can also do it on the Louis Vuitton app if you have it. And yeah, it's, it's really practical. But yeah, a bit expensive, I would say. Yeah, guys, and this is it for uh, this little haul. I just wanted to show you. And I think now I'll go have lunch. It's now 12 o'clock. I will film the reel with this look that I wanted to do. And uh, I will try on all of the items I've shown you. Uh, the three items I've shown you. I'll put them on and do a little cutaways for you guys. And I think I will be back tomorrow because tomorrow I have to go and do my nails because they are not looking the, the best. And I will be back, guys. Hey, guys, good morning. Today is Friday and I spoke with you yesterday. And today, like I said, I'm going to do my nails. They are looking worse for wear, although they haven't broken. Uh, I need to do infills. So this is planned uh, for this morning. I'm going to drive to Bristol and I'm going to do my nails and maybe a bit of uh, grocery shopping because I need lots of stuff. This is the look. I'm wearing this um, Reese long sleeve top. I'm actually going to show you. With these leather trousers and the shoes are the same as yesterday. My Sam Edelman uh, spike flats. I'm just going to show you quickly if you haven't seen. This one's right here. And then on top I added my uh, old Tessa blazer because I think it goes well with everything. I love these, these trousers, they are super cool, they are from Mango. They're quite old, but um, they keep doing the same version year after year and I really like them. They are elasticated waist, which is super comfy and not too long, straight leg and uh, yeah, this is the look of the day. I changed my uh, rings today because I, I wanted something a little bit different and uh, I also changed my earrings. I'm wearing these green earrings uh, that I got at TK Maxx. I don't really remember the brand. I know it's a London brand, but I don't remember the brand. They are super cute and green and I wanted to go for a green note with my accessories. So I added a green ring. This ring right here is from Swarovski. And old collection, but it's so cute. And I also added this little bracelet. This uh, bracelet I got from my dad, uh, I think last Christmas. Uh, it's uh, the stone is, is a real stone. What's the name? 
malachite. It's a real malachite um, bracelet with silver uh, little details. So cute. And on this hand I'm also wearing a green uh, ring. This one right here is from Accessorize. It's also a malachite and uh, gold plated. Then my little um, Jessica Valley um, a ring. This one is with a jaguar head and my wedding ring and wedding band. These are the jewelry bits for the day, all green. And to complement the green, I decided on wearing my beautiful stout bag. I haven't worn this bag in such a long time and I love it so much. You can wear it on your hand like this, you can wear it as a clutch and I can also wear it like so. So cute and uh, I love it. I like black and green, I think it, it really goes well together and uh, yeah, this is the bag of the day. Uh, the lipstick is Zara, this one right here that I got a while ago when the, first, the collection first came out. And uh, I aligned it with my, um, I think this is the Maybelline, Maybelline Lasting Finish in the shade Capuchin, so this dark uh, shade right here and uh, this is the lipstick of the day. My eyeshadow is a palette from Charlotte Tilbury and for fragrance I'm gonna go with my Mitsoko uh, Guerlain fragrance which I love. This is one of my favorite fragrances ever. I think I eat a little bit actually. Not too, not too good. And then this is the look with the bag. I might also go for my beautiful trench, this one right here, I know it's a lot, but I love it. It's from Philosophy Lorenzo Serafini, and uh, it's a bit oversized, which I don't mind at all, but I think it works well on top of this blazer, because obviously if it's too tight it won't go over. But I think, yeah, oh it's gorgeous, love this one. It also comes with a belt. So I can belt it, although this belt doesn't work too, too well, as you, as you can see. It's not amazing, but um, I can always change the belt and uh, this would be it. I can also tie it like this and then wear another belt. And then uh, with the bag, little ballerina shoes to give a little bit of a touch of... Um, femininity and a bit of romantic uh, touch because obviously I'm going with a full black outfit and the green bag. I don't know, I just love a different look like this for every day. And you guys might think, Clara, this is too much to go and do your nails, but I don't know, I like it. I feel better when I dress up, so this is gonna be the look for the day. It's actually raining, so I'll need to grab um, an umbrella and go. So I'll go to Bristol and I'll see you there guys. Hey guys, I just came back from Bristol. I'm still wearing the same uh, outfit. I went to do my nails and uh, here they are. Let's see if the camera focuses on the nails. So I went for this Ferrari red, uh, bright red with sparkles. You guys know I love my sparkles. Same shape, like pointy uh, nails and uh, I really love them. They are super bright and uh, maybe a bit, you know, glamorous, Christmassy, I don't know. I love it. I think they're super cute and uh, yeah, I really need to do them. And I also went to Sainsbury's. I got a few bits, um, a bit of chicken, uh, some veggies, tomatoes, things like that that I needed for lunch now. And I think now I'm going to go downstairs and have lunch with Joao. And I think I'll leave the vlog here, guys, because to be honest, I wanted to film a little bit more, but because I spoke about the Louis Vuitton situation and all of my vintage um, success and a fail story. I think this vlog is now over an hour, so I don't think I'm gonna continue because otherwise you're gonna you're not gonna want to watch any anymore. So I think I'm gonna leave it um, here to let me know if you enjoyed this uh, type of vlog with 
bits and pieces and uh, yeah, uh, let me know what you thought about my fail story with Louis Vuitton what you think about the prices, what's your opinion on those prices do you think they're okay, what do you think let me know down, uh, down below in the comments area and I'll leave all of the outfits and all of the products I'm wearing for makeup uh, linked down below and uh, yeah guys, I wish you an amazing rest of day and week. I love you so much and I'll see you here Sunday at 7pm as usual. Bye bye guys.